Hello and welcome to Back is This Sims 4 custom content. In this series I show you everything I made for The Sims 4. The thing you see right now is something I wanted to make for a very long time already. Besides the fish you see swimming in the ocean here, I've also made a few others. But before showing all of them I want to do a big shout out to Ice Moon Moon for helping me out while making this new kind of animated animal mod. Without her help the new option menu for choosing the amount of fish that will be spawned wouldn't have worked at all. But now without any further ado let me tell you all about this first pack of the animated placeable fish. As making this new kind of mod cost a lot of time and the total amount of fish in game is even more than 50, this first pack contains 12 different fish species. All of these new fish can easily be found by typing animated fish into the search bar. As you can see only 10 out of 12 results will pop up. If you click the green colored search tag above them though, all 12 objects will appear in the catalog. All of them will contain an image of the fish that can be spawned using that floor decal and my backy given icon in the lower right corner. For the people wondering where all these floor decals normally can be found, it's in the pools decoration section. What they all have in common too is that you can choose between two color swatches. In this case I use the anglerfish floor decal as an example. The first blue colored swatch will show the fish that will be spawned using this particular floor decal. The second white colored swatch will make the floor decal to become invisible. Other than you might expect, you don't need to use this invisible version that often. And I will show you why in just a moment. First I would like you to show how to activate all different fish effects. By default all floor decals will spawn 3 fish immediately after placement. In this case above the beach for better visibility. For the other options go to lift mode and hover your mouse over the floor decal so the interaction symbol will appear. Click the object and an interaction named set, in this case batfish effect, will appear. After clicking this interaction you can choose between 5 different spawning options. A single fish, a baby fish, 5 fish, 8 fish or no fish at all if you toggle it off. After clicking on one of them and clicking the floor decal again, you will get the option to spawn 3 fish again. In this example I activated all available options for the spooky bones fish, so you know what to expect for the other fish species too. Although I won't be showing all of the fish species one by one, you will see most of them swimming around during other scenes in this video. Now let's get back to why you don't need to use the invisible floor deagle that much. After placing a floor deagle on the beach, in this case that of the angel fish, and moving it below the ocean's water surface, the floor deagle will become invisible all by itself. After placement you can still hover your mouse over it for the interaction symbol to appear to activate one of the options. For deleting or removing the object counts the same as with all other invisible objects. Press E to activate the clone tool and hover your mouse over the water surface until the object's name appears. Then press the H key to be able to grab and replace it. Or the K key for the demolish tool so you can delete the object. When using these floor decals in pool aquariums, these objects work a bit different. First of all, after placing them in build mode, you can't use the option menu in live mode. This is because when trying to click on them, the game thinks you want your sim to swim to that particular spot. So as for pool aquariums, you need to use the option menu outside of the pool first, before placing them in. After you've done that, making the floor decals invisible is as easy as moving to above the water surface, so one level up, or watching them from behind the glass. So maybe you're wondering, when do I need to use the invisible objects then? Well, to make the fish itself better visible without distortion by the water, you can also choose to make an aquarium out of an empty room. In these cases the object will act like all other objects. So moving a level up, like this, or looking from behind the glass won't make them to become invisible. As seeing all these floor decals laying on the ground or floating in mid-air looks quite strange, you can use this second color swatch to make them invisible. For switching to the visible version, replacing or removing them counts the same as what I explained for the objects placed in the ocean. Another thing you need to remember is that if you leave the lot or restart your game, the effects will reset to the default spawning option of 3 fish. 
The reason for me to set it back to 3 fish instead of just one is because multiple fish are much easier to find on your lot than just a single one. Especially if you've placed them in highly decorated oceans or aquariums. After finding them back you can set the desired amount of fish again. You will also notice that when zooming out really far the fish will disappear too. But don't worry, as moving back will make them to appear again. Use these fish to add more realism and more life to your aquariums and oceans. For both of these areas counts that adding my other animated animals like the jellyfish and sharks only make it look better. Another thing these fish will do is making snorkeling on these places to be more meaningful, as there's now really something to see. To make this possible in your own oceans and aquariums you can use my ocean buoy. For download links to all of these extra objects take a look in the video description. As for the remaining fish in game, don't expect them to be released all in the upcoming weeks as I want making mods to remain fun for myself. So a bit of variation in mods is better for me and possibly for the community too. Because of this mod pack I haven't even had time to buy and discover the new magic pack yet. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video and these mods please give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment before you go and share it so more people will be able to find it. Download links can be found in the video description down below. If you don't want to miss my future videos, subscribe and then hope to see you back soon here on Baki Gaming.